Hey, San Bernardino. So I wanted to stop in because a lot of you have been reaching out about information being put out about the homeless encampments and Paris Hill Park and these things that should be happening that aren't. So I wanted to fill you guys in, make sure that everybody is on the same page. When it comes to what's happening right now and the encampments that have taken over the parks, the city of San Bernardino is still under its own injunction, which means that regardless of what the Supreme Court has ruled, regardless of the governor's order for encampment cleanups, the city of San Bernardino cannot go into the parks and remove people out of the tents. It would violate the injunction. So I understand that people want to tell you um, what sounds good, and but you, we can't do that. That's why you don't see these things happening. In addition, the city cannot enforce being kicking anybody out of a park at eight o'clock at night. One, there isn't proper signage, and two, again, we are under an injunction. The city has to do two things to create a pathway to remove people out of our parks. They have to update their encampment cleanup policy in review and coordination with the ACLU on how to properly notify people of the time that we gave them 72 hours to be removed from the parks. And they have to put alternative space and ADA compliance uh, accommodations in place for people to move them. If those two things do not happen, the city cannot remove people out of the parks. And what's so vital for our community to be is on the same page. Because the old way of San Bernardino was for politicians to come to you, tell you what sounds good, but never give you the truth. And then what happens is you become dismayed and even further disengaged in the process because you don't see things happening. We don't want to wait till November for the camps to be cleaned up, for the parks to become viable for the community. We want this to happen today. And the way for that to happen is for the city to continue to work to get this injunction removed. Without that, don't believe the lie. We cannot do anything without the court removing the block. Now, what I know is in calling the city and talking to the residents who have directly spoken to the city, who have gotten the information, what the city attorney has said and has reiterated to many people is that if a law is broken, which is a criminal law, like in the park where there was a shooting, where there were stabbings, and 911 is called, and the police are then allowed to enter. They can arrest people, they can enforce the law that way. And then they can clean up whatever's left over for the people that have been removed. But they cannot just walk into the park and pull people out and arrest them. That's, that's not at all allowed. Other than that, the city attorney has never said that there were untrue press releases were being issued about the encampments, uh, that anything other than what we are required to do by law can be done. So if you want to see the camps, encampments cleaned up, if you want to see progress made, then what I, I beg you to do is to keep reaching out to your city council people, reach out to the city itself, and tell them that you want them to keep working non-stop on making sure that we become in compliance with what the judge has ordered us to do so that we can get our parks back. And in addition to that, make sure that there is housing and other accommodations in place because it's not enough just to remove people. This is a thing. When people talk about anybody that wants a place to stay will have a place to stay or any, and we just want people out of our parks, there is nowhere for them to go. So we cannot just push people out of a park and into a street because then what's the community gonna say? We don't want the homeless on our sidewalks, okay? Well then what are you gonna do with them? And then you're gonna push them into 
the, the side of the freeway and we're gonna push them into the flood channels and then the other entities are gonna push them out. So it's not enough to just call on the cleanup. We want the sustainable housing in place. Like we talked about the other day, the tiny home villages. We talk about uh, renovations of transitional housing, looking into Patton State Hospital to make sure that those who are mentally ill or drug addicted can be treated. So please, San Bernardino, uh, as someone who wants to represent you, the representation is based on the fact that you know what I know and that you understand how how to best benefit yourself and it, it's going to be for you to be a hundred percent participating in the truth of of the situation of homelessness so uh thank you guys for joining i just wanted you to to be um, on the same page i am and being able to and call the city please i i always tell everybody reach out to the city um ask to speak to the city attorney get your clarification speak to the city uh, manager's office the council office because the knowledge is power and so you have to educate engage and empower our community so thank you guys i hope you have a wonderful rest of your friday and please share this please get this around uh, to the community we have a council meeting coming up next wednesday and this is an opportunity for everybody to uh, show up and tell the city that you want them to get into compliance with the court injunction so that we can begin to take our part back and implement a real homeless sheltering plan so thank you guys so much